Picture this, you're an FPS player, you like playing first person shooters, and you like playing Warframe. But for some reason on Warframe, the sensitivity bars are way way too high. Like, extremely high. Even taking the sensitivity to either 1 or 0 doesn't really shoot you, and it feels weird to play. If you relate to what I just said, then this video is for you. In Warframe, if you play mouse and keyboard, you will notice that anything below 10 sensitivity is more or less normal from high to low, and anything above 10 can get to ludicrous levels of DPI and you basically cannot play the game. Warframe sensitivity slider is a mess in general. It has to be reworked very very soon to match the slider that is used for the Railjack missions. However, until DE decides to do that, I have found a solution to making the slider more or less normal. Alright, so we're here in the desktop. Simply, what you want to do is you want to go to your Windows drive and users, then your own user, app data, and how you get to app data as a file because this is a hidden file is on Windows 11, you have to press view, so and hidden items, and you will have to do a similar thing to Windows 10 through the options below the file uh, manager over here. So below this bar, there will be some options and you want to enable hidden items. Once you enable hidden items, app data will appear here, so you can get in, then go to local, and once you're on local, you can scroll straight down until you find Warframe, and on Warframe, you have all of these. So now I suggest you be downloading Notepad++ to do this. It makes this process way easier if you have Notepad++. If you don't have it, that's fine. The normal Windows Notepad will work, it's fine. So here, first of all, we have a very interesting file called e.log. So e.log is a file that restores or stores any information that may happen while you're in your game. Right now, this is from my latest session where I didn't actually play. But if you want to see like actual damage numbers above 2 billion, above the damage cap, you are able to get in here and check the actual damage number that you would get. And there will be some warning like damage is too high and all that. A lot of people know about this. What a lot of people don't know, however, is that ee.cfg is the file that normally you are unable to edit. But if you right click, you can open this file with Notepad++ or anything that you want, and that way you're able to edit it. So mine was already edited, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show what it looks like for one of my moderators. They were kind enough to send me their e.cfg file so I can take a look at it. And on the top you'll have your email and stuff, I'm not gonna show it because I don't want to dox them, but you know. Then you have your actual keybind, so move X is left and right, move y is up and down and then for some reason my mode also had a move underscore z i don't know why uh that doesn't really matter but what we need is here so there is look underscore x now normally as far as i've searched there would be look underscore y but for both me and my moderator the case was that there was only look underscore x so now you see here the scale is on 0.2 so this is the setting that we need the lower this scale is the better the sliders are going to react to sensitivity so now if we lower this for example to 0.02 the slider now is 10 times as strong so one sensitivity would be 10 sensitivity two sensitivity would be 20 and vice versa you don't need to do this you can do 0.02 0.05 you know, whatever you need, the default would be 0 too. So, if we go back to my CFG file now, we will see a similar stuff going on here. If I go to look X, you see I have turned it down to 0 0.05. Once it saves and once you load in the game, the game will automatically change it to this value, so it makes sense for the game. And then, what you would want to do is make the look underscore Y thing. For those of you that don't know how to code in anything, I'll just add this into the description directly and the only thing you will need to do is change once again the scale number and match it to the scale number of your look X category. Once you do this and these are both matched, you can go ahead and start your game and take care of them. Now I must warn you, this is a weird scenario, like for some reason the game doesn't immediately recognize this and you might have to start the game change everything like inside and then take a look at it and then you might need to go back and edit this and see how it turns out. 
after two or three tries this one actually managed to work for me so if you add this it should be fine now once this actually works once and you're good to go with your sensitivity what you want to do is obviously you want to file and save directly on top of it now it's blurred out for me but it won't be for you if you do any changes and close it out and here is the important part because the game constantly updates your config the moment you enter in the game it may just delete the y function completely on its own because it doesn't recognize it to prevent this from happening you want to go into the cfg and you want to click on properties once you click on properties you want to make this cfg file read only and apply once the cfg file is read only then the game is not able to actually change it anymore and this way your game can have great sensitivity sliders so let's launch my game right now and check how it looks like for my point of view all right amazing so i'm in the game here uh everything is still working fine uh for me but i will just tell you right now my mouse is on 1000 dpi and as you can see look aim sensitivity are way higher than normal if i take this down to like one or zero and i try to move my mouse i will show you how it looks like because normally you're able to move your mouse but that's fine but for me even using the entirety of my mouse pad i am pretty much unable to move it in a way that would make any sense so the sensitivity like this is drastically lowered and you can now adjust it to your liking you can end up doing 0.02 of the scale and that will make it so that as i said one sensitivity currently in your game would be 10 and two would be 20 three would be 30 and vice versa so you can get way way more control out of your sensitivity slaughter all in all this is an amazing setting that you can enter in case you play a lot of fps and you like playing fps you do a lot of aim tracking all of that you play competitively maybe you do other stuff this is a setting that will make the experience of playing warframe way way more pleasant in general so that is about it i hope this video helped you out and i'll see you in the next one